Hi guys, it's Paul from Thermaco. Um, welcome to this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the last one, which we talked about um, <coughs> how to create window openings as well as how to insert in a frame. Now, in today's video, I will be showing you uh, the next window elements, which are the malleums and transoms after we have a frame while well, we have an opening and frame ready on the on the screen um, so to do that I've, I've got a little sketch here today which I will be using as an example to show you the method of inserting uh, malleums and transoms so um, basically it's a fixed window 4 meter by 3 meter with 3 malleums here to split the frame into 4 equal divisions and then I've got few transoms in various locations um, so I'm hoping that uh, this sketch is uh, clear enough for you to see so uh, let's get started the first thing we'll need is to build an opening as well as a frame for it so to do that we go to the four, uh, squared four side opening click and drag on the model space and then um, the width is 4 meters and the height is 3 meters we have to enter in. Now we're going to insert in the frame. Um, um, just uh, leave these settings as default so no nib, no specification and no specification over here as well. Um, I want to use our EC65TB frame as the demonstration so it's a matter cut I'm going to choose say OK and click in the middle of the opening to, to insert in the frame. Now we just have to tell the program it's going to be EC65 TB frame. So profile's definition, hold down the shift key and choose one of these to highlight everything. Uh, and right click to choose DXF. Uh, so in this case we are at EC65 TB so I will select the 6500 frame right now the next thing we need is uh, to build these three malleons to divide the frame into four equal divisions so to do that we go to malleon click on that um, now there's a few different ways I want to show you so um, because these are equal divisions so I can say that I want to insert in three of these malleons uh, center to center say OK it's now giving us four equal uh, sections say OK and then click into the middle of this frame um, you can see now it's giving us four equal divisions um, obviously the next thing we need is to define the frame to define the malleon, I mean, now um, you can do you can do profile's definition. Hold on your shift key again to to highlight all the three malleons and choose the XF. Um, so it depends on the height, whether it's a small or a large or a heavy duty malleon that you have to select. Um, so that's one one way to insert in the malleons. Um, so I'm using just the equal sections as as an example to make things easier but um, uh, instead of doing the three uh, margins all at the same time you can you can say okay you want to enter in the fr the margins freely so free insertion center to center and then you can go okay but one two and three margins now uh, now because it's a it's a free insertion in this case the malleons may not be at the positions that you want them to be so you will need to use the modifying tool which you can find it under the home tag modifying tool or i've got a quick access toolbar here or um, you can always right click it will give you a drop down menu you can find the modifying tool underneath here as well um, so choose the modify tool, click on the first malleon. So to modify the style, 
here in this little box here we can change the location of the malleum say the first one is one meters so we forward to go to the next one which the location of that one is two meters and the last one is three meters so you can see now it's also uh, giving us the malleons with four equal divisions now um, the other thing I want to show you is when you define the when you modify the location of the malleons so if you know the location of them which is good you can enter them in straight away or um, in some certain scenarios um, you you can introduce a formula to define the location of the malleon for example this one here uh, the first malleon is at one meter so I could say it's L box um, L means the width the uh, box we uh, that that obviously is the the opening uh, so width of the opening divided by 4 so that that will give us um, the location of the malleon so um, actually I'll delete them and just to show you one by one probably more clear so free insertion here we go to the modifying tool click on that and then we say L box divided by 4 right. so you can see now L box which is 4 meters divided by 4 give us the 1 meter here so the next malleon you can use the similar uh, formula but in this case because um, these are equal divisions so I know that it can be L box divided by 2 um, it's giving me the two meters now for this center malleon. Um, similarly, for the last malleon, uh, you could say <coughs> it's L box divided by four. But in this case, I want it to be at three meters. Uh, so I'll do the width by four times three to give me this malleon location at three meters. So that's one method to use the formula. Um, I'm using just a very simple dimensions here in uh, in this video as as example to show you the method. Um, but uh, if you have any questions about the the formulas and, and things, you can always <coughs> contact me. Now the next method I want to show you is again it's uh, using a free insertion, but uh, well, fully free insertion center to center malleons, but in this case, instead of clicking into the middle of this opening, I am saying I want to start the first malleon uh, using this point as the reference point. Now, this one, this is where we're going to tell the program where we want the malleons to be. So, the first malleon I want it to be uh, one meter from that reference point which is from the end of this left hand frame to the center of the malleon uh, similarly for the second one here I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm telling the program it's going to be two meters from that point to the center of the malleon similarly for the last one here it's going to be three meters from that point to the center of the malleon so click OK you can see it's giving us uh, uh, the malleons as well as the correct locations and then the next thing you would want to do is to profile definition name um, you can choose them individually to define them or uh, in this case if you sh press down shift it's not going to choose everything but if you do uh, control and highlight one of them it will highlight everything now I, I will explain a little bit more between uh, well, the difference between the shift and control in later videos but uh, in this one I'll just quickly show you the method of how to insert in the, the malleons um, <coughs> so I will define these malleons as uh, heavy duty malleons so Yep, that's our malleons. I've got, uh, I think I've showed you three different ways of inserting the malleons. Now, the next 
thing we are going to do is uh, the transition. So going back to the sketch here, in that first division, we've got two transoms, one at one meter and the second one at two meters. Uh, basically, again, these are three equal divisions. And in the second division, we've got one at 1200 and the other one at uh, 2200 from the bottom of the frame to the center of the transom, or uh, it's 800 mil from the top of the frame to the center of the transom. Uh, in the third division, I've got three transoms, and uh, in the fourth one, we've got uh, two transoms. So let's start with the first one here. Uh, it's two equal, equal divisions, but I am going to use the free insertion method. I prefer to use this method um, because in, in later... Uh, uh, stages will say say if you finished entering the job you have to go back and modify the location of the the margins or, or the transoms uh, by using this method I, I find it uh, like much easier to change the locations instead of using say you are inserted in three or two margins or transoms to spread the frame equally um, Anyway, I probably will come across this again in later videos, which I will show you what I what I meant by that. So to enter the, uh, to enter in the two transoms, we say the first one is one meter from the bottom of the frame to the center of the transom. The second one is two meters from uh, the bottom of the frame to the center of the transoms. Oops, sorry, I think I've done that incorrectly. Um, these are the transoms we are making. So again, from the bottom of that point to the center of the transoms. Um, so this one here, because we've got now, uh, we have now four equal divisions, four openings. It's just asking us which opening do we want to put the transoms in. So just say okay, and then we choose the first one to put in the transoms. So you can see now we've got one at two meters and one at two, uh, one at one meter and one at two meter. Uh, now again, I'm going to define these transoms first. Right, I'm just using a small EC65 TB million as a, an example. Now going back to the sketch, the next the next in the next opening we have two transoms in a different location. Um, now I want to show you different ways of doing these ones, uh, not different ways, but uh, um, again, it's 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 uh, the same way using the free insertion with the reference point here. Uh, but um, you can do the first transom is twelve hundred, and the second one is twenty two hundred. Again, we're saying that we want the transom to be in this division. Uh, now, for the f for the top one here, you can do like what I just did, or you can do this first one as from the bottom of the trans uh, the frame to the center of the transom, or uh, for the for the second transom, uh, you can always do uh, from the this top point uh, as the reference point. I mean, uh, downwards. Uh, so these, these ones are in the Y, as you can see, it's distance in the in the Y axis, uh, and then it's downwards. So we're going to say that it's negative 800 mil. Mm, say OK. So you can see now, it, it's giving us this uh, dimension indication here. It's from top of the frame to the center of the transom is 800 mil, instead of from the bottom of the transom. Uh, bottom of the frame to the center of the transom is 2200 but this one is really up to you like whichever way you prefer to to see the dimensions okay now again we're gonna define these transoms right now in the next division we have I'm just zooming a little bit uh, in the next division we have three transoms now these ones the first one uh, 
If you know the location of the transient, obviously that's good. You can do a free insertion in there and then either using the modifying tool or you can do with the reference point there. But I will show you differently using, yeah, using a different method. So we're gonna go separating rail for the transient and free insertion here. But I am going to tell the program to align the Malian to the bottom. Now you will need again another reference point for that for uh, for the pro program to align the new transom too. So in this case, I am going to take this point here. Sorry, I'll zoom in a little bit more to show you. So this point, which is the bottom right point of the fir the first very transom we entered in, and we say that it's zero uh, distance from that point. Again, it's asking us which opening we want to put it in uh, using the auto scale tool to zoom out and then we say that it's in this space. So as you can see now, it's got one, it's giving us one transient to align with this transient. Um, you, 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 you might not use this uh, method very often, but in some, again, in some certain scenarios like the form formulas, they, they could be very useful. Um, now, I'll do this method again by doing this second Malian, which, uh, second transom, which is uh, at the same location as this one here. So again, to do that, we go to the separating rail, well, uh, free insertion allied to, uh, you can do allied to the bottom, or you can even do allied to the top if you want to. So selecting the top point of this transcend again it's zero distance from that point and uh, we're going to tell the program to insert in that space so you can see now this transcend is aligned with that transcend they are in exact the same location um, similarly for the last one you can use the same method or um, you can use whichever method you think is easier for you also in this case I'm gonna do from the bottom of this point to the center of the transom which is 2200 okay now again we're gonna define these transoms we entered in All right cool um, I will leave the last one to you. So the last one will be these two transoms. You can use these two um, transoms to practice or just to quickly review um, the methods I just showed you. So that's it in today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope uh, this one is helpful to you. Um, if any of the information in this video is not clear, give me a call or send me an email. Thank you for, uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.